it matters when it matters. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, and I pre- I didn't ask these guys to to. to he said that too. Yeah. yeah. So it just show how real they are as well. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Salute to Mano. Salute to Flock. Salute to everybody that reached out. Salute to Vita Fly as well, man. Cause it it, it take guts to not follow the trend. That's you a feel fact. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So salute to the niggas that's keeping it tall. You feel me? Yeah. Real tall. When you start rapping like that, hit this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that nigga get too far ahead of you. know who I be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Showtime SP. Let's get right to it. So, K Shine, salute to K Shine and everything that he's got going on. Zip him up. Personally and professionally, uh, is making his rounds. He's doing more media now. Uh, he was on Twitter the other day. I did see him going back and forth with Debo. And now he has an interview on 15 Minutes of Fame. Salute to 15 Minutes of Fame, everything that they do for the community. I always say the guys that do what 15 Minutes of Fame does, what Hip Hop Is Real does, should deserve, deserve, deserve a lot of credit. Because they be everywhere, they do the interviews, they get with these folks. And sometimes, you know, some MCs and artists are hard to deal with. Some people don't want to be talked to, don't want to give their opinion or give dry interviews. But I always feel like Uncle Ra always asks good questions that are thought provoking and make the artist talk. Because the worst thing to get is an interview where you're watching and then you're like, oh, ask what we want to know. Ask, ask, ask. I feel like Uncle Ra did. K Shine got up there and he basically gave what is somewhat his side of the story. One thing about this whole situation with Shine, nobody's saying what it is. It's a lot of, listen, man. It's just a lot. It's a lot of, it's just a lot. Like, man, like, it's so much. Like, what, like, we don't have the definitive what it really is. But from what I've gathered, you know what I'm saying, from my, the things that I've heard, and I haven't spoke to Shine about this, and I haven't spoke to URL about this, you know what I'm saying? I just see how it plays out in public. And what I'm seeing is two sides. Obviously, there's a situation where some battles are old. You can't get, pay me my money to battle this, but then it's, it's I can show you proof for this. Forget so it's not about that. It's about exactly what I'm saying to you, bro. They clingy, bro. But you don't want to pay. We we were talking about you rather work take earlier though. too. You rather take though. Not only do you not want to pay, you rather take. It's it's crazy to me, bro. I was told Sean was paid a sum of money to cover a sum of time. And then that sum of time, he was supposed to do these amount of battles. And I believe it's two that's left. I do, it was two. Allegedly a daylight battle and allegedly, I mean, obviously a Jack Boy main battle that didn't happen. Uh, and what I'm hearing is, Shine is like, yo, I, I fulfilled my requirement because I was ready by said day, said time and the other MC ain't showed up. That's not really on me. And he was just saying a lot of weird shit started happening. He was saying his flight got booked to Wisconsin, <laughs> somewhere in Wisconsin. I don't know. I don't know where the event was. I think it was in North Carolina. I don't remember where the event was. I ain't gonna hold you. But I know Sean was lives in Georgia. I think in Atlanta. And he was supposed to be flying somewhere that was straight up, and he got sent somewhere in Wisconsin. Boy, I don't Boy, know no way, how that happened or whatever the case may Boy, be. No way, he said his flight wasn't booked. They was like, yo, just go to the airport so you're there and we'll send you. Yeah, that's some, that's sloppy work. If, the, if that is happening, that is sloppy work where one of the main artists is having to scramble to the airport with a bag. You don't know what you're bringing. You're trying to get there. You might miss your flight. Like, nobody wants to do that. Anybody knows missing your flight is one of the top five worst feelings. You know what I'm saying? You got expectation to be somewhere. It is bad. So anyway, um... He was saying, you know, he shouted out myself, Mano and Waka Flock of people who, you know, advocated or spoke up or wanted to see Sean again. Battle rap. What the fuck is K-Shine at? Doobie is on some talking my shit. Yo, URL battle rap. What the fuck is K-Shine at, man? The people want K-Shine, man. I don't know what the fuck's been going on. It's been six, seven, probably eight or even a year. I ain't seen no new K-Shine battle, my nigga. K-Shine, the future of battle rap. Waka Flock is stamping that shit. And no, this nigga ain't telling me to do this. And yes, I called this nigga and told him beforehand because he probably told me no or yes. He tried to say whatever, but fuck all that, bro. I'm posting this video, nigga. K 
K-Shine is the fucking future. I feel like URL scared to put anybody against him. Walker saying that, Brick Squad saying that, we standing on that. He did mention, you know, um, you gotta have guts. It takes guts to stand, to do your own thing, to stand out, to not follow trends, you know what I'm saying? And I do appreciate that because on this channel, that's really what I do, I just do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not subscribed to any league, I don't work for any league, I will work with, if somebody's got something going on, like we doing the Max Out commentary. I will work with someone for something, but I can never see myself working for another league because at the end of the day, if you work for them, you got you got to have their best interest in mind. Like you, you can't say this shit is not like that or that. You, you're not gonna be able to say that. You know what I'm saying? So I will collaborate and do something, but after that, I got to get right back to me because at the end of the day, <coughs> if, if, <coughs> if it's got to go down, it's got to go down. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter what league it is. Everybody could get it. EBK. Everybody. Everybody killer. So anyway, um, you know, it's like. Seeing the interview and seeing him say that he's got some things in motion, like he plans on battling again. He was saying there's no chance he will ever, ever, ever battle on URL again. I didn't know if the situation was to the point it was irreparable. I know he had did the drum where he went on, on, on Twitter. He had cursed out Smack and cursed out this person and that person. I know that happened. I do. I know that happened. But at the same time, I didn't think it would be to a point where he said that they couldn't, he couldn't even see eye to eye with them no more. I did hear, he was trying to explain a part in there where he was talking about the clingy women thing. Like, yo, they like clingy women. They want you, they want to be all over you. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you. I heard that the money, I said this in another blog. I heard that the money that Sean owed, he had and was ready to give back. Like, yo, you said you want your bread. I got your bread right here. And I heard they didn't want it. This is all I heard. This is allegedly, I, who, who am I, you know what I'm saying? But Vada Fly, I heard that they didn't want it, they still wanted the battles, because the reason why, if you give me the battles, I could kind of make them when I want and stretch it out, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if I take the money right now, you out the situation right now. So if, to the control thing is, nah, we don't want the money, we want the battles, we're gonna have one in September and one in January. Now you still stuck in that kind of limbo 20,000, nigga pay you 20,000 or 40,000, they get that shit out the way, he could go battle on the next joint. But some niggas would be like, nah, and like I said, this is all alleged. Hey, hey, call it like I call it. I could keep you in this situation for six more months if I, if I, if I get the battles instead of, um, if I get the battles instead of the money. And then in that six months, maybe I could try to work it out or try to pitch something to you to keep you around. So, one side is not the only one that's in fault. I always said from the beginning, like, why would Sean take a contract that's paying you payments, like whether it be ten thousand dollars a month or five? Why would you take an extended deal with them? It should be a battle for battle situation. I don't know the logistics of your situation, but from every single person from that side or from that spoke to somebody from that side said that's what what it was. You took a situation as to where, you know, we paid you for said services. I explained this in one of my other blogs. If I pay a nigga to fix my roof and he can't fix it because it was a power outage and he can't fix it because he had a deaf in his family or whatever the case may be, if he didn't get to fix it, eight months later, I still need my roof fixed. So I do see where it is coming from, from the other side, from the URL side, I do see it because I still want the services. But at the same time, they, I, I always felt like they should try to come in some kind of happy medium, you know what I'm saying? But that happy medium doesn't look like it's gonna be met because Shine is like, no. I told you when he was in public, saying F this person's birthday, I'm in Harlem right now, come get your money, whoop de woo when he was doing all of that, I told you they saw it. I told you you I wasn't feeling it. And I told you that they said, I heard he had Briz. I heard that the Briz battle was there. That's what I was being told. And I think I'm pretty at a good level in the battle rap shit. Like I don't be having to get included in everything. I don't have to get a call to do this and do that. I don't get all that, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You gotta have guts to be on your own in this shit, which is great. But I do hear a lot. It comes my way. Yo, this is what's going on. Yo, Vada, this is what's going on. They telling me, I'm telling you. This is exactly what I'm hearing. I'm hearing K-Shine has a pretty good situation coming up. Is it a card? It might be his own card. Is it his own league? Is it his own situation? He has a pretty good situation coming up. And when you see and hear about what it is, y'all gonna be like, oh, all right, let's get to it. Because one thing we can't say is that when it's time to perform, Shine not gonna perform. That's the one thing nobody could take from him. No man can take from the fact that when it's time for Shine to put on, he's gonna put on. So that's the thing. But um, my takeaways was it was good to see him speak. 
Uh, he's still not really saying everything that's going on, so there's got to be some kind of reservation. He said the relationship has been soured for some years, like it ain't just get bad recently. So that's another thing that makes you say, hmm. But with the controlling thing, it's true, man. I remember, bro, there'd be times it'd be like, yo, you can't go to this. I'd be getting told, like, yo, you, I mean, I don't go to any event I want, but there was being niggas around me that was literally being told that they couldn't do this and niggas wouldn't do it. I went to an RBE event, and he was just told they couldn't go to an RBE event. I flew all the way across the country, went to Canada, I mean, not Canada, went to, to, to LA for the, for the uh, King of the Die shit, because I felt like doing it. It was something I wanted to do. I can never subscribe to a nigga telling me what event I can't go to and can't go. That's just never going to happen for me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't rep a, a, a flag to where I got to wave a flag, like, I can't do this or I can't do that. I wasn't even getting paid. That was the craziest thing. I'm like, that nigga, I ain't getting paid. You going to tell me where I'm not going? I'm not getting paid? Nigga, what? So, for me, I was always gonna go where I wanted to go anyway. That's just, it was what it was. I mean, like, you can't tell a grown man that they can't attend a rap event. So that's what it is. Like, you know, um, when it comes to K-Shine, you know, him having his own situation, it's gonna benefit him way more because the fans still gonna rock with him. <laughs> the fans still gonna rock with him. <laughs> you think not? If he come out on E Wild and they gonna be rocking with him. They gonna wanna see who he's standing in front of again. You know, and it's crazy how all these politics and all this situation, you know what I'm saying, made it what it was. I will say this, I felt like they should have met in the middle somewhere. I definitely felt like they should have met in the middle and tried to make that situation right. But now, eh, it kind of is what it is. And I said that they wanted him to apologize for going off on them and he wasn't with it. That's what I'm being told. They wanted him to apologize for what he said about them and he was like, no. And I'm glad he didn't do it because if he did it and it wasn't genuine, niggas would have been like, yo, you really out here apologizing just to get back on the car? So I kind of respect the fact that he was like, if, 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 nigga, if, you here anyway, if you made it this far, if you made it this far, you must have been fucking entertained. Um, it, I'm glad he didn't do that, because he would look crazy out here. Niggas would be calling him a sucker. You really apologize? <laughs> now, if it was genuine, and it was like, yo, this is the situation, boo boo like, I jumped out the window, if he feels that way, or whatever the case may be, that's one thing. But if you just simply apologizing just to get on the car, nah, I don't do that. Hell no. You might, you at month 10 already, you might well just push it to 12, push it to 13, just keep on going. You might win, well, nah, 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 don't, don't cop out early for that. Don't, 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 no. No, I'd rather not see you. I would rather not see you than see you under se circum said circumstances. Said circumstances. I would rather not see you than to see you under those circumstances. This is basically what I'm saying. So, um, you know, uh, but he went on, he basically said, you know, he got some some guys with him that he's got a situation going on. Uh, they might have might have been artists. I don't know who they was. He might have had some artists with him. And they might, if something comes out later that they did all in there when they revealed what they got going on and this artist that we know, we kind of know that, you know, Uncle Rod had to drop. But shout out to, uh, like I said, shout out to 15 Minutes of Fame. Shout out to, uh, Heavy Bags, Uncle Ra, Suede, IP, everybody that be over there at 15 Minutes of Fame. Them, them some real hardworking guys over there and they get the shit done, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Sean, Sean, Sean says, I will never, never battle over there again. I don't know how bad it's gotten or what the fuck is going on, but for him to say he'll never battle over here again, damn, that's kind of crazy. I, I mean, I must say, uh, that's kind of crazy. But if it's true, because he was trying to say it about the bread shit. He was saying, like, I got the boot, but the boot, but oh, it's not about that no more. Like, he, he was seeing, you got to kind of know. That's why I'm giving you the, this is the subtitles version of what his interview is. These are the shit that they're not saying. He's basically telling you, I had the money to give back and they didn't want the money, they wanted the battles. He literally says that. But if you don't really, if you're not really in tune with what the whole situation is, it'll, <coughs> it'll kind of go over your head. <coughs> but it wasn't mine. I was kind of, I was right there. I was, I was, I was, I was following along, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I did think it was impactful to say, you know, shout out to Flocka and Mano and myself. I, I didn't expect that. People was literally hitting me up. Yo, Sean got an interview. He called. He said something about you in the interview. I said, oh, hell no. I know he ain't burning me down in no goddamn interview. I said, not on the whole Friday. He ain't about to tear me up in no interview. What did I do? I was like, hey, load up. Load. I said, motherfucker. Nigga, Sean's shooting at us, nigga. Load the fuck up, nigga. Zip it up and let's fucking go, nigga. We got to ride out, nigga. 
But now that's my boy, man. Real, real talk. I fuck with Shout Out. He's always had a good rapport, and I've always had a good relationship with him. And he's always been, you know, doing his thing. And it's crazy to see him not battle in this long. I never, never not seen him battle in this long. This is crazy. So if you are shine, and I don't got shine number, I don't be speaking to him on the phone, no shit like that. That's my man though. But we really, you know, what I'm saying he, he doing what he do. If you got something coming up, I'm just saying. <laughs> You know I could, you know, you know I'm free. I'm a free agent, baby. You know what I'm saying? I, what you said? It takes guts, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? <laughs> Let me know. I, I could, I could help you out, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to come TV? I told you. I already told you. Shout the office there. Hit my DM. Let's get you on TV. I think you would be great on TV. Let's get you on TV, my boy. I, th I think the world needs to hear from you anyway. What's up, man? So holla at me. I'm gonna tweet it next. And uh, we're going to get this thing going, man. I want to get the summer rocking, man. Let's make the summer end right, man. Let's make it last. Make it last forever. Oh. Make it last. We're going to make the summer. We're going to make this.